climate change, landfill taxes and challenging state waste reduction goals. The environmental costs of waste are never far from the headlines. Sydney households throw out more than $600 million worth of fresh produce every year. The City of Sydney recognises the important role that it plays when it comes to managing the impact that waste will have on the future of Sydney. There are many reasons why households do not recycle or reuse waste materials. Not producing any or enough kitchen or food waste to warrant recycling or reusing was the most common reason. Many were not interested in recycling or reusing or felt that too much effort was needed. Some did not recycle or reuse because a recycling surface or facility was either unavailable, inadequate or unknown to them. Rubbish can affect the plants by killing them by suffocating the plants. Also rubbish can affect the plants not getting enough sunlight, water and air. What happens to paper after it is recycled? Good question. After you've read the newspaper, you put it in the recycling bin for the recycling trucks to come and empty it out. Then it is shredded at the factory and then turned into pulp and bleached. Then rolled out and ready for reusing and reselling for other paper products. What happens to glass after it is recycled? Good question! After a glass container is emptied or already used, it is put into the recycling bin. It is then put into a big rubbish truck and smashed into tiny pieces. It is then put into a kiln, reshaped and ready for the supermarket. Ready for reuse! What happens to plastic after it is recycled? Good question! When a bottle of milk or another plastic container is empty, it is then squashed down, ready for collection. It is then sorted according to the number which is usually marked on the container. Then it is shredded, put into the kiln, and then reshaped, ready for refilling and reused back in the supermarket. Reduce, reuse, recycle. It's easier than you think. If, if not, not you, you then who?